Alrighty then, people, welcome back to episode 3 of the Principality of Xeon campaign for Garen no Yobo. Um, so, I have done all the upgrading. Desert Zaku's and Zaku cannons. Um, so, my plan is to send six units to here, 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 and here. Um, yeah. If I can attack them quick enough, they won't be able to defend all the places. Yeah, they'll probably be able to defend here and here, but... Um... Oh, I think there might be a point in space where you can drop on this point, so they're defending it thinking I'm going to attack them. But I'm not. So... I'm sending six... Four Desert Zakus and two Zaku Cannons. And yeah, the goal now is to expand out as quickly as we can, because right now we outclass the Federation, but later on we won't. Oh, crap. Um, oh wait. Okay. I did this on purpose. Um, these are, uh, Marine Zaku. Oh, wrong button. These are Marine Zakus. Um, the attack on Italy and the Balkans in general is very watery. Very there's a lot of water, so, um, aqua zakus will help us grab Italy quicker. Um, as time goes on, I'll start reinforcing these points, uh, especially when we have to expand out farther, but right now I'm just trying to grab those four. Um, I've also gone through and upgraded all of them here. Uh, mostly just deserts and zaku, or desert zakus, because we're dropping in the middle of North America. We're dropping right here. But on that note... これより我が軍は第二次降下作戦を開始する。目標は北米大陸。南米のジャブロー基地を牽制するためにも、この地域の占領は不可欠である。オデッサで見せた我らジオンの強さを再びヤスラに見せつけてやるのだ。Okay, I thought there was a cinematic for that one, but now we're able to invade uh, California and New York. So. Have, oh, I don't think the HLVs are there. Crap. Oh well. Oh, and a lot of them are loaded in Musai's and stuff. Oh well, that'll be next turn then. We'll invade North America and expand out and try to grab all of that. But, for now, we are going to try conquering Europe. I think they're actually held back in speed by the uh, Zaku cannons. I'm gonna check real quick. And all units. Yeah, okay. So, Zaku cannons have one less movement than... Um, fuck, I didn't mean to do that. Um, Zaku cannons have one less movement than the desert Zakus do. I thought as much, but I wasn't sure. Um, so, I am going to uh, divide up these units, three Desert Zakus together, so just in case, they can probably destroy three tanks straight up, um, Saberfishes won't be able to do anything, um, bombers and tanks, or Tin Cod and tanks, and then two bombers. This one might be a little tougher. Uh, but next turn I'll send in reinforcements from Odessa, so it shouldn't be that bad. Hopefully they divide them into, uh, small groups to attack my units. Be very nice. Oh, 
Uh, if I would have moved them up, I could probably have shot at that tank. Oh well. Yeah, I probably didn't balance out the pilots I sent with each one. I probably sent out like six pilots together and two of them won't two of the groups won't have any pilots at all. Ah, uh, no, they can't. Oh, well. But, Desert Zakus do a lot more damage and they have a lot more health. It's really nice, actually. Oh, and they have armed missile launchers. I thought the GM Command had those. Oh well. They might have it too. That guy's gonna have a lot of training by the end of this, and it's really gonna suck when he dies. Well, that's if I don't beat it quick enough for the MS Igloo events to not happen. Um, if I beat it before turn 40, I think, they don't happen. But yeah, this battle's gonna be really slow, because it's just... Oh, they have a Medea. Well, they it's just us moving towards them, and them trying to stay away from us. Okay, then. My cats got back in my room after I put them in the hallway after the last episode. Alright. Alright. Um. Let's go there. I'm not afraid of one bomb or a bomber or a tank just attacking him out of the blue, so. I don't have a problem keeping them close. Or keeping them far away from each other. Watch that Medea be full of tin cards. It's just how the AI operates. Yeah, I don't think Zaku cannons have close up flying defense. Oh, it is full of tanks. Oh, I actually lost to Zaku. Poo. It explains it. Yeah, at least it wasn't Yazan. Oh, and we captured Italy. We didn't even, they didn't even defend it.
Yeah, you know what. I think I'll put the cannons in this base and have the desert Zakus go out on their own. Um, can uh, radar plane and two tanks and uh, three tanks there. Or it might be a bomber, a radar plane, and a tank. Oh, let's see. Oh yeah, it's a bomber, a radar plane, and three or four tanks all together. Can't, oh, we should probably have captured that base, but oh well. Doesn't really matter. Yeah, sadly Zaku cannons don't have laser weapons like the GM cannons do. Well, I'm wondering where we got the idea for the cannon since they haven't developed the gun tank yet. In canon, I believe that um, they were developed at the California base, and we don't even have that yet. So we're just really ahead of the game, I guess. Okay. Oh, they have two of those things. I think they're they're either heavy bombers or radar planes. One the heavy dot there's the heavy dot bomber and and then that other one that looks kind of like a mantis, but I don't remember what the that one does. Well, I have to attack it. Oh well. Yeah, I expected the. We weren't gonna win the battle that quickly. We finished some plans. We got some new plans, which is the golf. And oh, we stole saberfish. That's kind of useful. We're about to get attacked somewhere, I think. Um. Yeah, these people don't need to be healed, so. Six to six, six to six. Yeah, to tell the truth, um, I have eight desert Zakus here, so I think I'm gonna divide them four and four. Normally I just send all eight together, but um, I don't think either of these are in trouble just yet, so.
Um, I'm actually going to do something weird and develop a bunch of golf prototypes so I can upgrade them into actual golfs. Um, they only have one unit and they do less damage than the normal Zaku. So they're not all that useful, but when I get golfs, I'll be able to uh, upgrade them all to it. So I'll have to wait two turns, but I just had to try to not let them get killed by then. And I can finally start loading people up into HLVs. Damn it. I'm loading them into that quad on again. I'm actually going to take them out of the Mu size this time so I can load up all. Oh, and I'll give them new pilots. Okay. HLV, HLV, HLV. Oh, hey, the Black Tri Stars. Whoops. That's Musai. It's Musai. It's Quadon. Oh, yeah, McCuvay and the Chive. In a Chive. Yeah, excuse me. Sure, why not bring the Dobai fighter? Um, I won't be using Magellan tanks or Dobai fighters in this one, but they are kind of useful on occasion. Um, let's see. Now we go to attack North America, which I think last time I did this, this took me like 11 episodes just to get to, and I'm getting to it in what, the fourth? Third? In this one? I have improved in this game quite a bit. Ooh. And yeah, Zaku tanks can upgrade directly into Zaku cannons. Ugh. Um, I actually don't need these anymore, so I'm just gonna dismantle them all. Well, I guess I could've used them to, like, drop on Africa or uh, Australia, but I can't conquer those places yet, so... It's not all that important. And let's end... Let's end the turn. Tanks, bombers, tin cod. Um, yeah. Oh, great! The Zaku cannons got out, got on the outside. This should be a fairly easy battle. It won't be quick, just because I have to move a lot of units, but... I never got the point of this. There's an auto button, and it doesn't do anything. No, none of the triggers do anything either. I had to try. But yeah, the black tri stars come in Zaku 1s. And. Ortega, 
You're supposed to upgrade them to the high-speed Zakus. But I always forget, so... They'll probably stay in those Zaku ones till they get defeated, and then by the time I have Doms, I'll remember I had the Black Tri-Stars at one point. Um, you know what, I'm actually gonna leave these people here. Since I don't think I'll need any more troops. And it's just gonna be more difficult than it's worth getting them out. That's a core fighter. Yari, yari. Kaoki ni hai ta mama. Odabutsuka. Shut down, Slugger. Um, you have to wait till the Abo Q events to, to, to kill Slugger. Shooting him down doesn't actually kill him. But generally in Abo Q, he already has a GM, so. Oh, they can scan. That's awesome. It wastes a. Oh, it doesn't actually waste that much energy. Wow. Yeah, that's a standard core fighter. Um. Eventually they'll get core boosters, and that'll make core fighters actually an issue, but right now they're just really weak. They don't really do much. But hey, uh, core fighters are really expensive because of that learning computer, so destroying one just makes it harder for the Federation. I don't know why they would attack me with one though, it's really weird. It was probably they just researched it and it was sitting in Jomboro, and they just moved it in to help defend. <laughs> Yeah, they're doing the jet stream attack even though that doesn't work. Because they don't have jets. <laughs> there, we shot down Yazan. So, he gets a bunch of more experience and is even harder to kill next time. <laughs> and the second time we shot down Shiro. Ah, I might actually lose one of them. Ah, I lost two of them. This way I can move them over to Goths, which I don't think the Goth, ha they have a special unit for the Goth, but they might. I haven't tried it. Wow, that sprite looks really weird. 
It looks kind of like the Baudock. Or, you know, however you pronounce that one. Oh, they can't actually do anything. Well, you're running away. That's the guy who used, uh, captured Zaku's in MS Igloo. Half the dobas. Yeah, I might actually beat this in one turn. That'd be cool. Oh, I'm so glad they can scan. That's so awesome. Ah, uh, they can't attack. Oh well. Probably could have if I didn't move that unit in the way, but... Meh. Doesn't really matter. No, sorry. He says the same thing he said the last two times. Oh, I forgot I had more I had reinforcements. Oh well. Okay, so with scanning, supposedly it's a it's a percentage based thing, depending on how many particles are in the atmosphere. Or, yeah, depending on how many particles are in the location you're trying to scan. So that's why it doesn't work in most of the time. Yeah, it's just a weird system that works less often than it should. Jisan ga itte ita. Mori wa emono wo hikiyosete kara hanate ってな.
<笑>じいさんのアドバイスのおかげだな。Well, we won't be able to end this battle this turn, but oh well. Not even worrying about that one unit. Yeah, they're just saberfish. It's not like he can attack me back. Ah, no special pilot either. Oh well. And it is 6:30 in the morning. I have been up for a long time. Oh yeah, and I have reinforcements here too. Yeah, um, I guess I'll just continue to killing the enemy. That's really the only workable plan I can find. I think I'll actually send out my cannon Zakus to, or my Zaku cannons to take out that Medea, because I think it's going to go over the water as soon as we get close to it. He didn't attack. If I have to, I'll go and capture all the bases, but that'll probably be next turn. Actually, yeah, Zaku cannons tear through Medeas. It's really nice, actually. Well, it's annoying when you're using the Federation and they do that to you, but it's really nice doing it to them.
Yeah, he moved just far enough to where we couldn't attack him. Yeah, just far enough to where we couldn't get him. But... Oh, that's interesting. Creed is considered land. I didn't think they would go... I thought they would just blink it and make it all see. Yeah, so. I think I'll have those two desert Zakus chase it up the coast. Oh. Or it could go on land. That works too. Yeah, I don't know any real tactics for this point. Yeah, that got shot down without really doing much. That guy's from the ride. That's why in the Federation playthrough I didn't know who he was. He was also in, um... What's that one called? Crap. Oh, Encounters in Space. Hopefully that that plane will stay in the bay, so it'll be easy to shoot it down. But knowing my luck, probably it won't. Oh, it actually did. And then this guy. Damn it. Alright. And I believe we'll win after this turn. Alright. They have gun tanks. They only have a normal one, and it's probably the basic gun tank, but they have them now. And I have a bunch of Aquazakus. Great. Wow. I think this is the phase in the la or this is the part in the last one where it started getting hard too, when I tried conquering France. Well, Eastern Europe in general. Yeah, this whole battle will just be us walking towards each other. Because we start in a really mountainous region and they're just really slow. And then we're going to end up having to conquer all the bases because of all the ships.
Luckily, now we can get reinforcements for that. Finish the Zog, or Gog. And we finish those in a few turns. We're at level 3 now, so I think we get Gauze now. Um. Fisting and Spying. They generally never put anyone in Scandinavia, and the only two places I can get there are these two. So if you attack it quick enough, you can actually cut it off. And... Why not? Oh wow, it's turn 9 already. I didn't even notice. Okay, so, um, I'm setting most of the units up towards here. It'll leave this spot open to the attack- open to be attacked, but they probably will try reinforcing this one instead of attacking here. Since they don't have any units here, they won't be able to. And next turn, when they try attacking it, I'll just reinforce it with the units I'm building right now. Um... Yeah, I did the event. And I did all that stuff, so... They have eight in California. And three in New York, zero there, zero there, and um, they'll probably reinforce from Jambro. It's just how it's gonna be. So, oh, right, they're still in HLVs. Okay, and I'm going to dismantle all the HLVs, because except for maybe Australia, there's nowhere else we need to drop on, so. Um, and with Australia, we'll probably just load everyone up in gauze and attack the Philippines first. Let's see. There are 33 people here, so that's 17 left and right. Well, I miscounted quite a bit. But I have an idea. Um, I don't really like doing this because I find it cheaty, but if you send one unit into a province, they'll try to defend it first instead of, like, defending the ones behind it, so you'll cut off the reinforcements. So... Um, what's left in here? Oh, one cannon. Okay. So, by sending the dough by here, all the units will- all the reinforcements will get stuck here, and I'll be able to attack both of, uh, California and New York without them, uh, being able to reinforce the quick way. Or actually, they'll be able to reinforce New York using this, but, eh. I'm actually going to try boosting the numbers on up here. Um, yeah, it's kind of low. 13. So 16, and they're at 34, so... Oh, that's something I should do.
just sticking random units. I really should cycle units through and like uh, remove the ones from the people who are up in space, but I just don't really care enough. Oh, hey, Norris. Um, after we capture these, I think you conquer Hawaii next, and then China, but I'm not exactly sure, so I'm going to look it up, but yeah, it's over 40 minutes, so I hope you all enjoyed watching, and yeah, have a nice day.